The U.S. Federal Reserve announcing this. It will review its oversight of Silicon Valley Bank amid the bank's failure. This was on Friday and over the weekend. Fed Chair Jerome Powell is calling for a, quote, thorough, transparent, and swift review. Fed Vice Chair for Supervision Michael Barr will be conducting that review, and it will be made public in May. Barr saying this in a statement, quote, we need to have humility and con conduct a careful and thorough review of how we supervise and regulated this firm and what we should learn from this experience, unquote. Arkansas Congressman French Hill is the vice chair of the House Financial Services Committee. He joins the National Board Live. Congressman, good to see you. Good morning to you. Thanks for coming on. Good. Good morning. Glad to be with you. I appreciate that. Congressman, President Biden here vowing to uncover what led to these uh, two major bank collapses. He made a statement yesterday. We'll play this for you and get your response. There are important questions of how these banks got into the circumstance in the first place. We must get the full accounting of what happened and why those responsible can be held accountable. In my administration, no one, in my no one is above the law. Focusing in on that, on Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank as well, in your mind, is it just one factor that played a part? Are there many factors that played a part? How do you assess that situation? I do think there are multiple factors. First of all, we've had 10 years of easy money, and we've had an avalanche of fiscal stimulus and spending by the Biden administration. That made financial conditions very lax and in my view, the management team at Silicon Valley Bank made some catastrophic mistakes in the management of the bank. They had 90% of their deposits in, above the insurance limit of $250,000 per account, and they invested in long fixed income securities uh, in a rising rate environment. That's an economic uh, error of proportions, uh, significant proportions. So my questions are, where was the San Francisco Federal Reserve Bank and where was the California State Bank regulator over the past two and a half years supervising and assessing Silicon Valley's management? So I think the conditions were too lax, and I think depositors, managers made mistakes, and I think supervisors potentially made mistakes. And that's why I'm glad that Jay Powell announced a thorough investigation of the supervisory uh, process that led to this collapse last week. Do you have any thoughts on how this is being handled in terms of using the term, let's say, bridging uh, this through in terms of over the $250,000 uh, insurance through the FDIC, this administration, President Biden stepping up over the weekend, uh, finding a way to do so, essentially trying to find lenders to, to, to get this done. Your thoughts on how it's handled? Well, this weekend, they tried to find a buyer for both of these banks. They were not successful in doing that, and that's because they both precipitously had a bank run, an old-fashioned 1930s bank run promulgated by uh, rumors on Twitter last Thursday and Friday, so it happened very quickly. And so uh, they decided to use uh, the Federal Reserve and the FDIC powers to, in the short run, guarantee those deposits to stabilize the situation on Monday so it would not spread. And because of the millions of employees that depend on Silicon Valley for payroll in the venture capital industry nationwide, they thought that was in the best interest of the, of the country. But we definitely need to reassess the supervision of these banks that led to the collapse. And we ought to take another look at the deposit insurance system and see if there are changes that we need to make there as well. Uh, excellent point. I want to uh, wrap up time with you here on something that uh, hits close to home to you. You recently supported a joint resolution here, and I'm shifting stories here, but you supported a joint resolution to rescind President Biden's uh, Waters of the United States rule. What exactly is that, how that affects small businesses and farmers nationwide for, for viewers that may not have heard of it? You bet. The Waters of the U.S. rule is a massive overreach of power being given to environmental uh, regulators and the Corps of Engineers to absolutely regulate uh, 
uh, water ponds on your cattle ranch, miles from a navigable river. How did this start? Well, the Corps has responsibility of navigable waterways, both for flood control and, and other issues, and they help oversee the environmental rules for discharge of, of pollutants into rivers. So Obama administration and now Biden are trying to extend that to miles and miles away from the river that if you build a stock pond on your cattle ranch, you have to get a permit from the Corps of Engineers. It's ridiculous. So Republicans overwhelmingly rejected this rule during the Trump administration, and President Trump did a very good job in reversing this policy. And now here we go in the Biden administration, then with them going back to the bad uh, uh, Obama policy. So that's why we overwhelmingly rejected it in the House. We hope the Senate will join us and override this rule and send that legislation to uh, President Biden. That is the Congressman from Arkansas, French Hill, joining us live. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you for your time. Great to see you. Thanks for having me.